Hey guys, it's Jill. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome. So today I have a full face of She Glam makeup. Did y'all know that Shan has makeup? Have I been the one that's under a rock? Because I had no idea. <laughs> I had no idea. And I just saw it randomly pull up in my recommended video one day when I was on YouTube. And I was like, huh? Wait, what? Okay, I gotta try it. So I went on their website and I literally bought 23 makeup products okay so there's gonna be two of these videos um and in this video i'm doing full face next video is also gonna be full face 23 products i paid 103 dollars this makeup is so inexpensive i did not pay more than six dollars for anything so yeah we're gonna go through everything we're gonna go through application first impression i'm also gonna do a wear test all of that. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you are new here, please make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell so you're always notified of every single upload, especially if you love all things beauty and fashion. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this application of Shein She Glam Makeup. So I have pretty much everything. I have a primer, a eyeshadow palette. I've got some lipstick, some foundation, some, is this cream? cream contour, bronzer, some blush, literally everything to do my full entire face. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. This is the Birthday Skin Primer. Um, it comes just like this. It is silicone based, so I'm assuming it's definitely going to hopefully really blur my pores and whatnot. It also comes with this little spatula thing. I mean, I feel like I can just go in with my, with my hands. The consistency is kind of weird. It's a little liquidy. It's definitely not what I expected. I definitely expected it to be thick. I didn't expect it to be so, not that it's bad that it's so, um, the consistency that it is. But I mean, it's not like super liquidy, but I was just thinking in a container like this, it was gonna be more, not this consistency. I don't know. I really don't see that it's like doing anything to my skin though. Hmm. I mean, it kind of filled in my pores. It's also a little hydrating too, which I actually like. Um, so I was just expecting something different. That's why I'm kind of like, you know, I'm gonna go in with the foundation. This is the Skinfinite Hydrating Foundation. I got mine in the color Shell. And I'm just gonna place them on the back of my hand. I don't have a damp sponge, so I'm just gonna take this little brush thing that I got off of Amazon and apply it. We're just gonna do one side of the face so we can see what we looking like. As far as the consistency, it is definitely more of a liquidy, um, liquidy consistency. You can see how it's just kind of like dripping. It's like trying to like drip down my hand. So it's not super thick. I feel like the color match is really good. This is not, I can already tell you, this is not going to be a full coverage foundation, but this is how I like my foundations. So can you see this right here is the side of my face that has the foundation? and this is the side that doesn't. So it doesn't give you super full high coverage, which it doesn't claim to. Um, and most hydrating foundations just don't give you coverage like that, but it does cover nicely. And as you can see, it's nicely hydrating. So you see this nice hydration going on here, which I am here for. And then this side right here is just my moisturizer and whatnot. So. Yeah, so far so good. I like this. This is definitely the kind of consistency that I like. It's definitely the kind of foundation that I like, that I prefer. I'm also going to go ahead and pump, pump some more so we can try to see if we can build that coverage up without caking it. So hopefully that will be the case. Also going to try to pat, because a lot of time when you pat, versus brush, you can also get a fuller, you can also get a fuller, what's it called, coverage, than if you just swipe. Swipe or no swiping. <laughs> swipe or no swiping. 
Swiper, no swiping. Comment down below if your kids used to be obsessed with Dora as well. Maybe, maybe you're not that old yet, I don't know. <laughs> Um, I definitely don't like the second layer. I will say my skin is looking good with this, though. I'm definitely going to need to blend this out with a beauty blender. I'm not going to say it's not buildable, but when you do build it up, you can definitely see it. Whereas when I had it first applied with just one layer, I could it, it looked like skin, which is pretty much my goal when it comes to foundation. I mean, do you see the difference too? This is one layer, this is two. So you can definitely see that this is more, you can see my skin, it's very hydrating, it's very pretty. So you can do either or. Impressed, very impressed. Next we're gonna go in with the concealer. This is the 12 hour full coverage concealer. It picked up a good bit of concealer on the applicator. I'm just gonna place it right here. Crap, y'all. Okay, okay, hold on. Shh, y'all. I'm I'm sorry. I'm trying to get into the. We'll just we'll just work with this, okay? And then we're just gonna blend one in though. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend it in. My beauty blender is not like super wet. It's a little damp, but it's closer to being dry. If that makes any sense at all. But so far this is blending pretty nicely. I feel like maybe it was a little light for me. I probably could have gone up in shade. But this is what we were looking like as far as how the under eye looked previously. And this is what it looks like now. So it says it's a matte finish. I don't really see it being matte right now. But I'm gonna go ahead and blend in the other side. I mean, it gives pretty decent coverage. It's not super full coverage, it's not I'd give it, I'd say it's medium for sure. Now I'm gonna go into this She Glam Sun Sculpt Liquid Brown Bronzer in the color Soft Tan. So yeah, I'm really excited for this. Again, look at the freaking packaging. How pretty is this? Oh, oh, it's so pretty. This seriously looks so much more luxurious and expensive than it actually is. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it where I would normally apply my bronzer. This is definitely a more cool tone, which is what I like personally. I'm gonna go ahead and try to do this. I haven't ever done this like contour with a cream product, but let's do it. I look crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and blend it in with this sponge. Ooh. Oh, okay, yes. First of all, I love the freaking color. So if you love you a good cool tone contour, which is really what contours are supposed to be, bronzers are supposed to be more warm, contours are supposed to be more cool toned. If you want a more cool tone, this is where it's at. This blends beautifully. What's this color? Soft tan. I look very dewy right now. I'm here for this. That high, this foundation and this concealer, definitely hydrating. Okay, so this is what our blush looks like. It's so pretty. Love the ombre. And this is just a lightweight matte blush. What color is it? Insta Flame. Oh, it's very powdery. Very, very powdery. Very pigmented too. Okay, I see you. See you, She Glam. Um, it definitely is like sticking to my face in turn. That's making it harder for me to blend this blush. So I'm definitely going to, I would definitely say set this. Set your foundation before you go in, especially if you're a foundation, it's definitely tacky on my skin. Okay, so I have set my foundation to make this hopefully a little bit easier to blend. It definitely is, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of this. So yeah, I mean, it blends okay. Not my favorite for sure. The color is pretty, but it's definitely a little too intense for my skin tone. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with highlighter and this is the She Glam Cosmic Crystal Mousse Highlighter in the color Pinky Promise. So, I'm just 
gonna go in. Oh, this is, oh yeah. That's pretty. It's a little more intense than I like to go. I usually use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit and that kind of gives me like a less intense look to the skin, but this is pretty. I really love pinks on my skin tone. It's so pretty. Look at how intense that is. And I didn't even put that much on there. So yeah, this one's a good one. Now it's time for eyes, my favorite part of the video. So I'm just gonna go ahead. This is what it looks like. I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go into pink clay and use that as my transition shade. Now I'm going to go in with abstract and do the same thing because this uh, pink clay is not pigmented really at all. Oh, this is nice though. Oh yeah, this is a really nice, rich, warm, pretty fiery color. It's beautiful. I really want to try this color, but I also really want to try this color. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do, hold on. These don't blend like super seamlessly. They're not, they're not like super like buttery soft or anything, but they're not bad, especially for the price. I mean, I don't remember how much this was, but three, six for nine shadows. I know it was definitely very, very affordable. I'm going to go in with this color. I'm going to actually swatch this. Hmm, that's pretty. That's the color that you get when you swatch it. Milkshake. I might take the color Hidden Agenda as well. I don't know, but I really want to try this. And I'm just like really like kind of picking up all of it to blend it. Huh. It's definitely not what I thought it was going to look like because even when I swatched it on my hand, it looked a little more white. And this looks golden. That's weird. Like there's like no gold when I look at it on my hand. And when I look at it in the pan, where's the gold coming from? I really don't know where this gold is coming from. I'm going to go ahead. Let me see this hidden agenda and see how dark it is. Cause I don't want a super, okay. Yeah. This definitely looks a lot darker than what it's swatching. Let's see what it looks like on the eye. Cause I definitely love that really pretty taupey. Oh yeah. Okay. That's pretty. I don't know how well it goes with my crease, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull this color up into the crease. That's what it looked like, and I definitely had to build that color up for sure. It's not very pigmented. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into this Deep Thinker color, and I'm gonna put that into my crease over this abstract color. I'm gonna go in with this Raven color. That's nice and soft. Hmm, that's pretty. I guess I'm gonna go on the outer corner and then maybe do it on as a liner. I just really lightly dabbed like just like one little pat on this brush. Not really crazy about this, I'm gonna be honest. The pigmentation is like definitely, I mean it's kind of like the first color was really nice but like this color just does not want to lay down for whatever reason. It swatched pretty nicely. I mean, I have to pick up a considerable amount of this black shade for it to give me even just like a little bit of pigment. Okay, so that's about all that I'm going to do with my eyes. I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to put on... Actually, I have lashes, so I'm not. We're going to go ahead and do lashes together. So I got these lashes. I'm going to be honest. I'm real picky when it comes to my lashes. I don't like these thick band lashes, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and say I don't like them. I haven't tried them on yet, but um, yeah, I'm really excited for this though. This is a liquid glue. So it's like a, it's a liner glue. So basically this is your little applicator and I love the handle, how it's flat right here, so you can just hold it real nicely in between your fingers, and it's flat, and it's just really cool, and it's also curved. And then this is your, like, where the glue is held. So, okay, so you just, 
can't believe like I'm an avid lash wearer and I've never tried liner glue before. So I'm just gonna line it. Do what I would normally do, which is kind of wait for it to get a little tacky. And then what I do is I always take the lash and I always apply the middle first. It's like the center of the lash. And then I apply the outer lash. Is this glue really sticking like that? And then I apply, hold on. I do not like these kind of lashes because they're so much harder to work with. They are not beginner friendly, but this glue is 100% beginner friendly. Do y'all see this? I got glue coming out. I, I, I was holding it upside down. That was totally my fault. Okay, so this is how the lashes look. I'm gonna be honest, I think I'm gonna take these off and apply mine. I don't like them. They are just too dramatic and too much and they just, I don't even think they look good on my eyes. What do you guys think? Okay, on to the brows. I'm so excited about this. So this is their highbrow shaping wax and this is what it looks like. I'm very picky about my brows and the products that I use. I'm gonna go ahead and take the little spoolie and really dig into that wax. And then we are going to try to tame these babies and lift them up. Oh, it's actually not doing a bad job. Now that I look crazy and psycho, <laughs> I'm gonna go in. I'm so freaking excited to use this. So this is one of those This is called the feather better liquid eyebrow pencil and it has one of those little comey type things Like that is the applicator and when you go They're literal brow hairs Do y'all see that how pretty is that? I'm kind of scared um because like I'm like big on my brows and when they're messed up I get really upset okay let's do this I definitely messed up I don't know how I'm supposed to do the outside <sighs> this wax is just like literally look at this because of the wax I can wipe that just right off and I don't know if it's gonna set or not. I like this in theory, but I need to completely redo them because they look awful. They just look absolutely awful. I'm trying to go right here and apply it and it's just not, it's not doing what I want it to do. So I'm gonna say that this unfortunately is a no-go. Yeah, see, what, is it, is it the, Maybe it's the pressure. My brows are not cute, just overlook them. This is the best I'm gonna do with them right now without having to take everything off. Also, I couldn't, I could not with that, with those lashes, so I just put on the lashes that I am used to. I did use the glue, so we'll kinda of talk about that in a few. Um, but I'm gonna go in with these two lip products. Look at how luxe this packaging is. All right, this lipstick is in the color Beach Babe, so I'm just going to use the point of the lipstick. By the way, if you don't have a lip liner, you can just use the lipstick. So this lipstick is called the Starlight Velvet Lipstick. It's okay. I don't like the color on me. The smell is kind of like Play-Doh-y, very cheap smelling. Okay, so this is the... She Glam Take a Hint Lip Tint, and this is in the color Birthday Lips. So I'm assuming this is supposed to be like your lips look better. That's exactly what it is. I mean, this is okay. Okay, so I just went ahead and put on a different color because I wasn't feeling either one of those. So let's do a rundown of the products real quick. Love the packaging, don't like the color. It was okay. Um, the She Glam primer, not what I thought it was going to be. That was the outer packaging. This is the, it was hydrating. It was pretty, but I had hoped that it was going to blur my pores a little bit more. So I would say pass on that. I think that this highlight is really pretty. 
gave you a nice highlighted glow. The bronzer, I think it's really good. Um, I love the fact that it's cool tone. It definitely blended right into my skin very beautifully. The package packaging is incredibly beautiful, so I like this. This highbrow shaping wax is trash. <laughs> I will never. Um, it just moved around too much and it just, it completely ruined. I like the pencil and I love the concept. Y'all, I had to go scrub it off my hand. So it definitely was not moving. If you need a cool tone, if you need like more of an ashy cool tone color, this will be good for you as well. But I just, again, I'm really particular about my brows. And now that I have my little brow routine down pat, I really am just not going to introduce any more products because when I do, it turns into a mess. It literally took me 30 minutes to do my brows today. So that is like, if you think that you would do, I, the pencil works, it really does. So that's really cool. The little thing um, and how it's supposed to give you those brush-like strokes, it really does that. So it's really cool. Lashes, I absolutely hate. I don't like the thick band. It just, it was, it was too much for me, too dramatic for me. Concealer, meh is okay. I don't, I'm not the biggest fan. I definitely like other concealers better, but I mean, it went on pretty nicely. We'll just see how the wear is. Remember that this side is powdered and that this side is not, and you can definitely tell. The foundation, I love. Like, oh my gosh, where have you been my whole life? This is probably like six bucks. You cannot beat that. And the hydration, how beautifully it, it blended. Um, I really, really am impressed. So I'm definitely excited to see how this is going to wear. That is definitely going to be a favorite. The blush, not a really big fan of. It was really hard to blend, even over my powder when I powdered it down. It's a pretty color. It's definitely pigmented. So this is definitely more so for darker skin tones, more medium to dark skin tones. And I also just love, I, I love to look at the like how pretty this is though. It's so, the ombre is beautiful. So I do like that, but other than that, eh. Lipstick, big no. The packaging is pretty, but it feels very cheap. This glue, this glue, okay. Like, girl, I literally just lined my lash line and then I stuck this to the, to, it literally went like a magnet. Like it stuck and it was like, it was there. And then I just went bloop, bloop. And I was like, whoa like there was no sliding there was no none of that stuff so I wouldn't say that this is necessarily beginner friendly because I feel like you need to be able to play with your glue and kind of have like a little bit of give when you're a beginner but if you like lashes and you do them often and you just want a different way to do them I don't know a different glue try a different glue this is really good so far so good like these babies are stuck and it just literally went boop boop Boop, and I was done. And this She Glam Lots to Lava palette is okay. So yeah, it was okay. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna come back around six and show you how all of this is wearing. This is what it looks like right now. I'm very dewy and glowy and I feel really pretty, except for my eyebrows. <laughs> but yeah, I will show you how it's wearing throughout the day and I will be back, so I'll see you in a few. I am so tired. Okay, so it has been longer than 10 hours that I've had this makeup on. I want to say this real quick. This freaking lash glue, lash glue is amazing. I had no idea. Like I, when I put it on, I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Because it was like boom, boom, boom. And just like literally, like I told you earlier, like glue. Um, my goodness. Like it is inner corner perfect outer corner perfect did not budge did not move i am so freaking impressed okay so what are we talking about this the eyeshadow did really well i mean it's held up beautifully the concealer actually isn't bad as far as like it's not like well this side which i believe yes i powdered my right eye and it did not powder my left. So the left looks better than the right because the right is creasy, it's thick, you can just, it doesn't look good. It, it looks very, it's not as smooth. This foundation, y'all, I definitely know that it's 
a little lighter than my skin tone. At least it's a little lighter than I, I'm used to going because I do go a tad bit darker because I like to blend down to my neck and my chest. My chest is darker than my neck. So I would like to go up a shade, but oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. It is worn flawlessly all day. I've been like doing this and I don't see any part of my face that looks like it came off, you know? It looks really freaking good. The highlighter and blush and contour is all still on my face. So that is going to do it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. Go ahead and click that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you are new here and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!